Hi everybody, this is Jazz aka Trend Trader for you. Hopefully you all had a great weekend, a long weekend. And the reason why I waited to do this video uh, till the end point, and I'll show you that reason in a minute. And I had a good reasoning behind it and don't want it to uh, provide a different technical analysis because a lot has changed just overnight, okay? And let me take you to uh, the Google News real quick. Eurozone Central Bank now controls destiny of Greece's battered banks. Go down a little bit. Euro falls out of Greece as there is a no bailout to the package. Mm -hmm. So all you're hearing in here or you're mostly seeing in the news is all about Greece, right? No bailout, no nothing. And what that caused is huge drop in overnight markets. So Shanghai dropped 225. FTSE dropped 44. And your S&P is down about I'll show you in a minute it's not in here since this is the world market let me go in here show you the ES your S&P S &P, uh, 500 futures smaller time frame this is what you're seeing right now huge gap you're already down that's a big move to the downside that's a pro gap to the downside 27 points on the ES futures guys that's a huge move to the downside if you look at the CL CL is also down almost three three and a half percent one point nine four down so people are going to be looking for more likely shorts tomorrow morning okay so let's talk about a little bit let's talk about the biggest time frame like we did talk about usually I do look at the SP, SPY only I look at few more this times but I'll look into the futures okay I'll look at the futures of uh, SP 500 uh, S&P 500 so what you're seeing last week I talked about a um, little bit of weakness coming a okay? little bit of weakness coming in the daily chart but what I'm seeing in this week is a weakness definitely into the we um, into the weekly chart as well lower highs in here we talked about this guys. we talked about there was a lower high this low needs to be broken this low needs to be broken before I give it somewhat of a bearish kind of uh, uh, overall trend uh, to the bearish side and we don't have a candle that wants to go up still you have a every single candle really wants to go down uh, overnight it opened like I showed you in here about 2 20 34 area someone trying to put a um, overnight there's a little bit of volume not a whole lot but it the trend is definitely down there's a huge gap to be filled if you look at it in a daily you'll see that too um, go back in here so this is what you have huge to the drops out downside and you also have a lower highs and lower lows at the same time so weekly it's somewhat off turning into a bearish it broke this low which was very critical this low is the next one this is going to act as your support possibly this could act as your support also but with the bearish action that i'm seeing into the daily chart okay i don't see any reversal candle happening yet till we see it till we have a trend reversal there is nothing you can say that you want to go to the long side. In fact, you see somewhat of a um, head, right shoulder, left shoulder. You can draw your somewhat of a break line right around uh, here, right? And this is the measured move from here to here, break out of here. You can possibly see that's just a, a head and shoulder pattern. Is that going to happen? No. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not going to happen. But what I'm going to trade is based on what I see right now which is a daily downtrend okay gaps are being filled going down get this gap filled went down this gap possibly could fill go down but what you're seeing right now lower high lower high and another lower low another lower low and lower low from here so you're connecting the dots now don't try to fight against the trend see where the trend is going this is somewhat of your support in here there's a little bit of trap in here so watch this area to hold but if their data is in here there's going to be day trades lining up to the long side as well as to the short side. The gap is to the downside. So I would do is try to play to the short side. Okay. So going back in the smaller time frame, overnight gap, we'll see how that works out. Uh, by tomorrow morning, possibly could do a 50% retracement, could do a 61, 38, one of those numbers. It could do those fib numbers of retracements or it could literally even go down up here and keep keeps on falling we don't know that we'll just have to trade candle by candle right day by day and week by week 
So going back in here, let's look at the CL chart. Crude oil. Crude oil has also dropped down to let's go down into the smallest time frame, five minutes. Just gonna show you the overnight session drop down. Had a nice little move up to the upside on it. Possibly could we even could come to fill this gap and continue the downtrend. But you do have a beautiful move to the downside, so you can keep on trading to the downside. Depends on how uh, the price opens tomorrow, what kind of a gap it gives, what kind of um, setups this give. Right? You can trade if you as a day trader. You can trade the counter trend trades, but you just gotta know what you're doing. You gotta be smart about it. Okay. As far as the daily goes, I see somewhat of a support. It broke out of this. Uh, uh, Sideways consolidation gave a head move, a fake head move to the upside here, but ended up just you know getting sold off every single day. A little bit of support around here, this area. Okay, keep an eye on this. Okay, keep an eye on this support area. Then there's the one here, the one here, but the, this has to be broken before it goes to the lower. And this one looks like a decent level, about uh, 52.19, possibly could come down in here. Uh, past resistance around here also 5333 see if we use again you can have all these support areas but if you don't have the confirmation to the upside keep on trading to the downside okay keep on looking at the best opportunities opportunity is short because the less expensive could get more expensive right you gotta have the mentality that if four dollar is cheaper three dollar could get even cheapest right you could even go to two you can even go to zero so you gotta keep an eye on that so looking at your six six a your Aussie just gonna look at our stuff real quick also gapping down right everything is gapping down Aussie is definitely a beautiful downtrend right and looking at the smaller time frame gap down looking like actually a beautiful flag in here could possibly a trade but we're not here to talk about trade we're here to talk about uh, the whole trend of it right then you have your 6e 6e also gap down right everything gap down but not as bad as your es gap down possibly forming somewhat of an uptrend possibly even come to fill this gap so that's your somewhat of an uh, technical analysis an overall kind of picture on uh, your um NQ on all your indices and future instruments. NQ US market has been hit pretty hard, right? Huge gaps to the downside. Then you have your YM is down 224 points. Um, then you have um, TF, one of my favorites. TF also to the downside. You gotta look at the big picture, right? You gotta look at the big picture, what the trend has been doing, even though. It looks up in here. Weekly is definitely was a beautiful, nice trend. Still maintaining that low, right? Still maintaining that low. So it could possibly even come down and bounce out of this area. I'm still bullish based on this chart itself, but I'm a little bearish on the ES chart. This one is uptrend is still intact. Could possibly be a pullback and goes up again. Doesn't matter, right? Doesn't matter what the news is out there. You keep on trading the trend. If the trend is to the downside, keep on trading to the downside. So looking at the week, uh, your weekly is definitely a bullish and possibly even getting a pullback in here. Your daily is uh, still coming right here at the support area, right? Could possibly form a bullish engulfing candle, a hammer, something, something. It all depends on if you get a reversal or not. Had it bounced to the downside, possibly forming a hammer, but that's a daily candle though. So you got to remember that this candle is looking at daily hammer right now it could turn into a huge red candle to the downside so trade on what you see rather than what you want to see that's that what else uh, I think that's it that's all we see so we'll just have this is the reason why I wanted to make this video late uh, so that we can see what the overnight session will give us right rather than saying okay I'm, I'm bullish here my thesis has changed right my thesis has changed on ES because now that I'm not greatly bullish in it, I'm more of a bearish because of this gap to the downside. And this gap is a huge gap uh, driven by the fundamentals, driven by the technicals as well. But what you see is what you trade on rather than saying, you know what, I'm still bullish and I'm going to keep on trading bullish. No, you're going to change your thesis because the gap is to the downside. Look for setups to the short side. Okay, If you see a setup to the long side, take it, but don't put a uh, top. For instance, that's a little bullfrog, right?
well, it's like you can take this setup to the upside, right? But don't tell yourself, okay, you know what? I'm shooting to to the moon. I'm shooting all the way 2064. Don't do that. Keep on moving your stop as it goes up rather than just saying, you know, I'm shooting with 263. Shoot for small targets. As it goes up, keep on taking frequent trades. As a day trader, you can take those by moving or managing your stops. So hopefully that helps, guys. And um, the rest we'll talk later, and I'll keep on putting out these videos. Take care, guys, and I'll talk to you later.